Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to UFC, ladies and gentlemen, major event breaking news here, ladies and gentlemen, we got a new co-main event, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Ortega is not able to fight here tonight due to high temperature, ladies and gentlemen, we got 103 temperature, ladies and gentlemen, not able to clear the fight, make ladies and gentlemen, but we got a co-main event, Lopez is still fighting, ladies and gentlemen, who is he fighting, you'll find when we head to the ring, they head to the ring, where this go, main event, ladies and gentlemen, the second new co-main event for this event, I mean, what kind of crazy stuff you see doing here? They go to the arena for this matchup. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Actually, ladies and gentlemen, this is a catchweight fight at 165, ladies and gentlemen. The UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Diego Lopez. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Dan 50 k Great Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, early round action here in UFC featherweight. Dan Ige has spent much of the last several years entrenched in this division's top ten. At one point, he reeled off six consecutive wins. That set up a big main event against Calvin Cater in July of 2020 on Fight Island. This is one tough customer. Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe more known as a striker in modern-day mixed martial arts, has everything you would want. In terms of a championship pedigree, now the focus, putting it all together against the lead opposition. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. These guys throwing early. with the uppercut now it's true and again all right so one minute into the fight and i'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds tonight no feeling out process at all all of the fight started these two gentlemen ready to knock each other's heads off oh might be trying to set up a leg submission here oh i don't know that heel hook looks tight Print the shirts, ground and pound. Oh, right, it's a mount. Oh, he's gotta be careful there, yep. E gazed in half guard. And now he's inside control. <laughs> All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Big kick land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. We cross the midpoint in round one. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Way to hide that leg kick. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh man, I jump. Attempting a choke now. That Darce choke is tight. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. His word, I'm gonna stand this up. He continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. E. Gate gets back up again. Nicely done. That's a strong push to head out of the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there. He has executed that weapon perfectly all night long. He's landed several of them in this round, really starting to do some damage with those knees. Big roundhouse now, just misses. 90 seconds to go in the round. 
trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And there's that jab. Oh, hook to the head by Ige. Leg kick is there. One minute to go in round one. Another nice leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. What a nasty kick. That was thrown with ill intent. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Ige. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, beautiful jab there by Ige. Oh, big elbow. Round two is next. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you've got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Fight. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Landed that left hook. Went for the inside leg kick. Solid punch by him there. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow! He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this division. I would have never thought that this is the fight that would play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial artist. Here, another strike lands there. Ige's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Just misses there with the left. Double leg is good. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, Gale's on the submission now. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's thrown. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of a barn. Huh. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Ige's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Straight there by Ige. So a much different approach for him here. Oh, nice double leg, yes. 
Just over two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice headlock. All right, looks like that Darce is tight. Oh, he's gonna get him with it. Oh, he cleared it and he got out. He cleared the leg, got to his back, and now he's out of that Darce choke. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. Ige's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed. He continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Under a minute to go in the round. Gets the single leg takedown. All right, setting up for a finish here. It's, it's tight. Oh, gives up on the submission now, so preferring to maybe get to a dominant position instead. Ige's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. There it is, now he's going to mount. Oh. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Ige. 20 seconds to go round two. Ige's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Making all these shots count. Saved by the bell, there is the final horn. He was getting grounded, he was getting pounded just at the end of the round. So you see, he's taking some of this time here to get back to his feet. Only 60 seconds on the clock between rounds. We will see if this young man can recover. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Third round underway. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by EK. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Ige. Nice leg kick. Oh, that's a brutal cut on his nose there. He is bleeding. Effective with the jab. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, short uppercut of a clinch by Ike. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Oh, Superman punch lands. Just missed with the left there. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. Continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, tight submission attempt now with the Darce. That Darce choke is tight. Oh, yeah, it's a fight here. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Get the ball here. You have to be 
so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout. <laughs> Look at that. Recognize he's about to be in position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Ike's in half court. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Some real power shots here. Oh, right here. And now the jab gets through. Oh, double leg lands. Oh, right into mouth. Oh, he's setting up for a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Oh, he escapes. He got work. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Looks as though he will let his opponent stand back up. Yes. Ige's taking aim at that cut right now, DC, and you got to admire the fighter IQ, right? Might as well keep landing strikes on a target that you have damaged repeatedly throughout the fight. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice punch by Ige. Oh, nice right hand. 15 seconds. That's some good takedown defense right there. Single leg attack, no good. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, he's advancing. Right, so the fight goes the distance. Outstanding action on both sides all night. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. For the winner by split decision, Diego Lopez! All right, well, congratulations to him there. And I think five years from now, they'll forget that it was a split and not a unanimous decision. But that was a close fight. I mean, that was a very close fight. And that's the most uncomfortable decision in the world, to walk to the center not knowing if you did enough to get the job done. Fortunately, he did enough, and he got the victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a win there by Diego. Didn't know his opponent was going to be like a few hours ago, ladies and gentlemen. But what a fight. Got the main event coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for that. We'll see you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.